Welcome to Chapter 2 in World Rhythm 101. In this chapter, shake them if you got them. Let's take a look at this action of shaking, the instruments that fall under this category, and some of the tools that we can put into our own kit. Whether we are talking about building a, a drum circle kit, an active play-along kit, a storytelling kit, whatever it happens to be. These are great tools to start with. One of the simplest and most accessible instruments in the percussion family is, of course, the rattle. Rattles have a great cultural heritage, a social implication, and they're accessible and easy to use for a myriad of populations, whether we're talking very young, uh, senior populations in elder care facilities, disabled populations. Anyone likes to rattle and sort of jam along to the beat. Rattles come in lots of different shapes, sizes. Typically, they're pretty affordable, easy to carry around. These are some seed pod rattles from West Africa. These from Cameroon and from other parts of West Africa. The West African seed pod rattles often come in these bands, you'll see. They're designed in that culture for dancers to be wrapped around an ankle and the uh, dancer can keep the beat while they're dancing along. Here are some seed pods from Brazil. Nice delicate sound, great for soundscaping if you're going to do some storytelling. Some other seed pods from Brazil. Not as accessible as the ones from West Africa I have found. This one that I was playing, this is actually a, a minor instrument made of wood. They also make them out of plastic. Different manufacturers have different options available. But hey, what I love about rattles is that you can make them, of course, yourself. This one I made out of a, a bunch of keys. Bottle caps make a great rattle. So not only are they a, a super instrument for you to have in your kit, but also they can make a fun craft project as well. So now we're ready to begin building some percussion techniques, starting with the shaker. This is a tube shaker. They come in different sizes, lengths, materials, metal, plastic, and even wood. Now you'll notice, of course, the tube shaker has gravity uh, working in its favor uh, or against us, depending on how we choose to interact. All the shot inside is on the bottom. As long as we choose an up and down motion, the shot is going to want to stay on the bottom. So with the tube shaker, we go back and forth. What I'm doing is I'm using a little bit of a, an arm, a hand, wrist combination to get the shot evenly forward and backward. Looks like this. Now once we have that down we can create uh, some accents as well by having a little bit of a burst of energy with our wrist on one beat or the other. We're going to do a four beat rhythm pattern with the accent on beat one. Rather than keeping my motion here close by, I'm actually pretending that I'm uh, going to cast that shot all the way across the room as if I were casting out seed as a farmer would. It looks like this. We can also create an accent by casting the seed back in the opposite direction, almost through our head, if you will, being careful not to bop yourself on the nose. Now, we're going to do the same beat pattern with the accent on beat two. Now we can put some of these accents together. We're going to do our three plus three plus two with the accents falling on beat one. It sounds like this. Sped up, it sounds like this. Let's take a quick look at the relationship. Before we go any further, I do want to mention the relationship that I have with the shaker and my hand. I'm creating a little bit of a cradle here with my thumb and forefinger. So rather than holding on to the, the shaker with my full hand, uh, I'm allowing it to become a little more parallel to the floor by using my fingers and my pinky is actually sort of propping that shaker 